Wow. It's way more grown over than I thought. <laughs> oh yeah. So what are you thinking? Um, so, we've had pretty good success building soil in this area in the past. Yeah. Um, and yeah, as you can see, it's super grown over. Everything's growing into this orchard. All these nasty vines and stuff. Um, so yeah, we're going to build another compost pile in this area. Is there is there a pile there that we're working on top of, or is that is that is that gone? A pile over here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, we're going to unearth that. Are you thinking of uh, turning and adding, or turning it and then starting a new one? I was thinking about turning and starting a new yeah, one. Yeah, I think you got enough material for a new one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. It'd be nice to get all the Hono Hono grass out, but yeah, that's not going to be easy. I would say just get the bulk of it out, and then make a big pile and bury the Hono Hono grass in the middle. Okay. Give give some to the pigs, and then once they once you give them enough that they're not going to eat anymore, <laughs> maybe just uh, put the Hono Hono grass like on the bottom and make sure that's covered totally up with all this other stuff. Cool. Okay. Cool. And t and uh, those African tulips, try and get them down as low as you can. If you can pull them out, even better. Sometimes I'll take an oil bar and break them up. Is that which ones are that? So all the African tulips are those that almost wall of trees right there. Yeah, okay. like that one right there. See that one right there in front of us. Okay. Yes. Okay. You see, sometimes when they're small, you can pull them out. So just cut them down, and the ones you can pull out, pull out. All right. These are probably all beyond. They're, they're all, pretty big. They're all they're pretty yeah. established. Yeah. Okay, so let's think. Um, so let's say we're going to build one maybe where Christian's standing right now. Is that what you're thinking, Christian? Uh, yeah. Yeah, kind of like. Right so there. so let's start with um, all these coconut fronds. We'll break those up as small as we can, mm -hmm. and and make a big like big like uh, boat, almost like a raft of that, and then layer everything on top. And then when you get, I don't know, a few feet, maybe add a layer of banana, of dry banana leaves. Okay. What do you think? Cool, yeah. Um, if you walk along the uh, far wall, that whole, that whole wall over there is like So watch, uh, watch it in the ground with that one. Okay. Because you're going you're gonna to hit rocks. I try not to use, ever use a machete on the ground. Okay. Um, and that whole, that whole side over there has got banana fronds. Okay. I would say cut them up into three pieces minimum. Okay. That's, um, that whole wall that we just uh, the brown pieces in yep, particular. Yep. Yep. So that'll go on the bottom, and then you go green, and then you go brown, and then you just layer it up as much as you can. Okay. okay. We'll throw this. Yeah, you can make two piles side. for now. Yep. Yeah. All right. So we'll get get started on that, mm -hmm. and then we're gonna do a little. Uh, a little loop and come back and join you guys. Sounds uh, so uh, Christian and I are gonna go all around and do what we call a triage. Basically we're gonna look at all these crazy areas that are so overgrown now because of the um, rainy season and we're just gonna decide what areas um, are the most important, what areas need attention first and kind of uh, triage them in, ter in terms of importance as far as projects go and just talk briefly about the projects we want to get done in the next month or two. We got a lot of interns coming and so we're going to get ahead of ourselves, make a big to-do list mentally and then later maybe we'll go ahead and put it down on paper. Okay, so really grown over. I can barely even see the path here. So this is killer. They're going to start on that, right? They'll get this all down and then mm -hmm. And then this, we definitely have a project in the food forest here, yeah? Oh, yeah. Um, maybe even a couple projects. Yeah. Are there any... Uh, yeah, there's a huge one on there. Let's see. Oh, yeah, look at that thing. Holy crap, look at that. <laughs> yeah. A little dwarf jackfruit tree. It's still tiny. But look at the size of that thing. That must be 20 pounds. Some really good ones from that tree. Is that the water you made yesterday? Um, these had mostly meat, the ones that I took, so uh -huh. that was really nice. Wow, these are going off. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Any durian? Not that I saw. So this area is not too bad because we hit it that one time, yeah? Yeah. We still have all this brown stuff. Maybe, uh, maybe what we'll do when we do these things, we'll make a massive, um, they will make a massive um, compost pile in this food forest area too. We we'll use all these fronds, make a bed, and then hit it with all the other stuff, huh? Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. 
maybe as a Thursday project. Let's see, let's look at all the different big projects we have and then kind of choose which one needs the most attention the quickest. Okay. Get uh, Frankie's over there having his breakfast. Okay. So this area is actually better than I thought it would be. I mean, there's almost paths. This area, I don't know, we haven't really hit this again with any kind of structure, yeah, since the first time. Yeah. Do you have any ideas for this area? Um, I mean, maybe this could be the uh, higher central, you know? Yeah, I think that, I mean, ton of sun. This could be like papayas and Green dwarf and coconuts, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's a good idea, especially since Misha is papaya man. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it's close to the year, easy to harvest. Mm -hmm. I'd say we could definitely do a do a whole grove of papayas in here. That'd be cool. Awesome. Maybe you can grow something in between the papayas, like papayas and katuk or whatever yeah. whatever you think might be cool. Yeah, there's a couple katuk already here, so we just take cutting to them. Yeah, them cool. Well. Uh, let's do that. So I would say uh, let's cut all this stuff down and make not beds, but we'll make like rows of cane grass, and yeah. then we'll just. Plant oh, yeah, them. plant into them, and then yeah. we'll just keep cutting it and adding to those piles. Yeah, yeah. And I think that we should that we should just kind of use that strategy on any of these areas that are like way overgrown with cane grass. Mm -hmm. Just use that as our mulch, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, how much star food? Is this pretty much done? The star apple? Yeah, those are all, all pal. All done. <coughs> okay. So this path is still pretty good. Look at that. Yeah. Cause you guys use this one the most, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I do, I would love to uh, get the- Wow, nice loofahs, man. That's awesome. Oh, uh, those nice? I mean, they got kind of- Got grimy. mildewy, yeah. They were so soaked, but- Uh-huh. Pretty, pretty big, I figure I'll soak them. Maybe, maybe we need to harvest them a little earlier and then put them somewhere where they can kind of hang to dry. Like put a couple of hooks here, kind of things, hang them under the roof or something. Yeah. yeah. What were you saying you'd like to do? Oh, um, so I mean, th this area in general, I feel like we could do a lot with, uh, but then this Buddha, Buddha hand or Buddha palm or whatever, I think last time I looked into it, it was like, they sell that for like 25 bucks a pound. And like sometimes they get like pretty- And we have another one, right? Or is that the one? This is the one. I'm so, so disoriented. I thought it was in such a different area. It's so bizarre. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Wow, okay, cool. And so this Lilikoi is like, pretty much right at the base. So like last time I cleaned it up, I cut all the little koi away from what was going in uh -huh. and then let it go up into this mountain apple and- Okay. Uh, but like, I don't know if that's really sustainable. So I'm wondering- if Is the know. is the little koi fruiting at all? Yeah. These are yellows? Yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, it seems like we need to make some kind of a more organized trellis for this thing. Mm -hmm. Like maybe even one of the ones that we did like with the arc thing, of, yeah. yeah, with the with the cattle panel. Yeah. And then we can kind of just put it over that, let it keep going crazy on that and keep it away from the Buddha palm and maybe just open up this whole area with the Buddha palm. But that sounds like a pretty big project. Mm -hmm. uh, let's say that let's say that that would be at least, a, you know, a, three people just to do a session. Yeah. That'd be cool though. This whole area is could be way more useful, right? It's basically now a lot of stuff that oh, we don't yeah. really need. Maybe it's we'll that orchid tree, right? Yeah, maybe we'll just cut this all down, get some sun in here, and plant some cooler stuff because it's actually nice southern exposure. We could do pineapples and lilikoi and Buddha palm, and maybe more Buddhist palm. I don't know. Yeah. Maybe take some cuttings or something. Yeah, yeah. I think that would be great. All right, cool. So let's say. Um, this is good. We'll have this all recorded so we can uh, write it down from this, but let's say that this is the yurt orchard project, right? And this could extend here. This is something you talked about a lot, but kind of a, it's a beautiful space. It's just wasted with orchid trees. Imagine if those are all avocados and uh, mangoes or something, right? Yeah. Yeah. And that's um, all good. Uh, we can make that big wood pile for next time Pete comes. We get a bunch of mulch, mulch out of that. Yeah. Cool. Or, or even put a lot of, yeah, put a lot of it on the ground and just build soil here. Yeah. That might be cool. Awesome. How's this thing going? Is this thing dying out? I think it is. Yeah. Cause he put he put these like these cuts in. I saw in. that. And then how's that thing growing in the middle? Is, that, is there stuff going off in there? Oh no. Well, 
I didn't really put too much soil in here, so obviously like volunteer cherry tomatoes, which everybody at the yurt digs them, so I figured might as well just let it do its thing. I mean, talk about a great place to grow volunteer cherry tomatoes. This hill hill could be, you guys go crazy with your orchard of them if you want. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. Yeah. Okay, now what about this? What, what, what are you, man, I couldn't believe how muddy it got down here. <laughs> you got it nice and done up now, but let's just take a quick look and like think about even like six months out, what, what, what do we got plans for this area? Chicken coop, I think we could definitely do a reboot, make this area. I like that you got more sun, but I'd almost like to see even more sun in here. Oh yeah. You know? Um, and then I don't know, that chicken coop could probably be up for a redo. I bet you Adam could build a killer one. That would be perfect. <laughs> right? Yeah, this Something. thing is so like hodgepodge right I now. I forgot that you still had the, the, the Christian Rourke uh, roof patch. Oh, <laughs> yeah. I forgot about that the, the other thing day. But um, I don't know. I mean, they're, 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 they look pretty happy. They're, you know, they look healthy. They're big and yeah, they look good. So, oh, this is cool. I know how that thing finally started to really take. Cool. Exciting. So that's the Malabar spinach self-feeding planter. Yeah. Awesome. And then ladies. Okay. I wonder if we could, you think we could push, push to the other side, like build something right in that space where the goats have been? Like yeah, totally. I mean, that's an area, I, I mean, I'd like to see them take this area and that, where they will shade and sun and open that up, maybe with an electric fence. You know, maybe we could even push that all the way to the, the corner and then move them through areas with an electric fence out there. Yeah. You know what I mean? And maybe we'll make like, um, maybe we'll take <laughs> tractor. Mm -hmm. and then move it so that like every three days they're in a new area and they have a place to lay eggs yeah. and then they can still come back in here at night maybe and roost or something. Yeah, yeah. What's funny is when <laughs> I had opened that area, they... Do they go out there all now? What's that? Do they go out there now at all? Oh, well, I had to close it off because the goats got in. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to try that again. I think if we start feeding them out there, they get in the habit. And then this thing, I mean, here's, a, here's one of the most underutilized areas yeah what do you think about this what would be cool here I don't know. maybe more more cacao more cacao cacao and sugar cane I mean, we could, yeah we could keep on doing the sugar cane about around. golden sugar cane and and cacao yeah golden sugar cane cacao and maybe uh, different bananas we try kava like right along the podocarpus if it doesn't get as much yeah right, that's cool i was thinking too i'd love to have like maybe more loofah i got a um air potato growing over there right now that's gonna okay uh so let's think about management for this maybe like when river you know he's, he's got a day we're getting the brush cut in here and then we'll rake him into the same idea mm -hmm. um uh kind of like lanes of cane grass yeah. and then we'll do the same thing we'll just keep cutting the, the in between and piling it in the middle and let's try and get these on the north south like <coughs> get a compass figure out what north is and that way where the sun is we'll be able to get these lanes plant stuff and then we can do something else in the middle does that make right. sense mm -hmm. I like the idea of having kava and stuff on the vines over there. You should put a carpus for vines, for loofah, whatever, and then kava along the dark, the shady section, and then more sugar cane, maybe goldens if we can. Mm -hmm. Love to get a bunch of golden in here. And then, um, I don't know, either dwarf coconuts or, or cacao, maybe interspersed with that would be cool. Awesome. Yeah. So when, when we would be building up the lanes, like yeah. putting all the cane grass in, would yeah. you say we would go through like where the planting area is going to be with like a pickaxe first so that we don't just mulch any um, cane grass that's going to come up through. You think that there's cane, you think there's cane grass um, that we can't see now? Oh, cane grass you mean coming through? Yeah. Um, I think if you make those piles big enough, mm -hmm. the cane grass is going to get burned. It's not going to be able to come through. Okay. And we'll just keep, we'll just keep picking it out as it comes through. Um, but let's make big piles and then, I mean, let's say we, we, we mow it and we do it all into one lane first, make a big tall pile, three feet tall. Uh -huh. And then next time we do another one, just do it, plant one section at a time, you know? Okay. But it's really crucial to get those north-south and then the sun won't, won't shade out the other ones. Okay, mm -hmm. what about this section here? How's this looking? Let's actually up, go up and do a loop around this way. Okay. 
Yeah, last time I hit this, I went in with the blade, and so much can grass came down, it really opened everything up, but I didn't really get a chance to like get back in and kind of make heads or tails of everything. So we could definitely do a cleanup on these bananas. Oh, yeah. Um, and again, this is really like a cacao, right? Cacao section, cacao cava. And I figure every, everywhere that's kind of overgrown like this, we just do cacao and cava. So maybe it's worth doing a bunch of cava cuttings at one point soon. Cool, yeah. Um, there is a moringa just behind this, um, this trellis. So I would love to kind of like let that guy get a bunch of sun like right in this area. Cool. I don't know. If... Yeah. Um, the chayote kind of pulled it down so it stayed like lower. Just yeah, like... let's, uh, let's, let's do a set. Will we do a, uh, let's pull the chayote back. Maybe just let it go up these, pa these papayas yeah. and then we'll keep it away from the mi middle there. Wow, this one's incredible, man. This is the most beautiful. These two coconuts are out of control. Yeah. Look at this thing. Just beautiful. And then look at the productivity of this one. Look at this. I mean, those are the biggest racks I've ever seen. It's just going off. Ridiculous. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah, there's definitely some space to work with here. I've got all this open space. I figure if you have open space, you just get cane grass. So, look how there's no cane grass in the shade. So awesome. I mean, ultimately, that's where we're headed, right? Yeah. More, more trees, more fruit trees, less cane grass. Mm -hmm. So much easier to manage. So much easier to manage this stuff yeah. here than cane grass. Um, okay, so I like this. Uh, we already got nice levels here. We got the coconuts up above, avocado, and then we got understory. It could be kava cacao. Mm -hmm. So I guess I think this is a natural kava cacao spreading in here. Awesome. Um, this area is not so bad. This would be a pretty easy project, actually. Yeah. It looks like you kind of stayed up on this one recently. Yeah. Yeah, and we, we did this not that long ago. I think it was one of the first things. So when we hit that, then we can do this blood orange. Yeah, the blood orange, I was thinking about just, just cutting all this stuff down in the short term and just put drop it on the ground, break it into pieces, mm -hmm. just to, you know, you can even tell River Hay, you know, just to get, get, get him out of doing um, the, machine. the machine every day, grass every day. We just give him, hey, how about this, uh, give this blood orange some love, just mulch it super heavy with all this stuff around here. Mm -hmm. um, I'd say maybe not those palms, but this thing, you know, if we leave one of these, I think it's enough. We've got these all over. Mm -hmm. But I would say cut those down and then just open up the sun there and just get it all down. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. I mean, that's not even enough, people, enough of a project for more than one person, I don't think. Mm -hmm. uh, I like the way she started putting pineapples on the southern exposures on this side. I'd like to keep that going if we can. Like, wherever there's a sunny, like, embankment with a wall, I think there's a killer place for pineapples. So. Yeah. Um, I like that idea of mowing the lawn, making making piles, and then planting pineapples. I think is a cool. These guys, I think, responded to really well to that um, manure. Oh, good. It's like this thing is just packed with like young. Fruit. Yeah, it is. There's so many uh, flowers going. So really hoping that next harvest will be like cacao going big. off. Yeah. I saw the Djibouti Cabas fl uh, flowering again. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's going to be like the third time. Wow, that looks awesome. Look at that. Isn't that sick? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's okay, that's cool. Sticky. Nice. We need to consider an air layering with some of these guys, too. Some which one? Some of them are like climbing, just like shooting up some Wh runners, Which one? The cacao. Oh, yeah. I saw these cool things online. They're like a plastic circular, circular pod, and you like you fill it with soil. You seen that? Flip it, yeah. You seen those? I haven't seen ones that are like specifically built for that, but I've seen people just cut um, a plastic bottle and they just put it around. So these are black, so they're opaque, mm -hmm. and they um, they clamp on. You fill them with something, you just clamp it around, and then like you open it up, and it's just filled with roots. It's really cool. So maybe I'll look at ordering some of those. Awesome. Um, I'd love to, I'd love to air layer those, um, light those lychees. Cheese. Yeah, yeah. Or even look at practice. Let, let's, uh, let's do some grafting this season. Let's, pra let's play with some grafting. I, I think it's time that we get that. How about these uh, ice cream beans? They're looking awesome. I know. Maybe it's time to start. Pruning them. Well, I don't know. How, are these papayas pr uh, producing at all? Um, yeah. Yeah, they're doing okay. I mean. Not much, huh? Not the best, but uh, this is like. This is the variety that everybody loves. Right? Okay. Okay. 
Like I, I took a few from here the other day, and I was like, oh, nice. You know, people will be pumped about those. So. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't think we want to get these things get too tall. I would say let's start topping them. Yeah. You know, maybe just keep them down to like 12 feet or something. And let's say, let's say tall enough that we can harvest stuff with our uh, orchard ladder. Okay. So what is that? I don't know. I think our orchard ladder is 16 feet. So yeah. these things are getting tall. I'd say that one up there needs to get topped down. Oh yeah. So let's just start topping them and then just using that mulch in through here. It should be really good mulch and start making kind of a hedge out of these things. Eventually these are gonna shade. I think the cacao is gonna be loving the fact that it's way more shady now too because of this wall. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. This is the only one that's not, oh yeah, no, it is flowering. Um, did you, uh, I remember last year we were talking about topping these dwarf avocados, uh, but then I forget exactly why we didn't get around to it. Uh, I think we just got lazy. Okay. I think we just forgot. No, um, you mean, like fruiting or you mean these ones? Like, uh, uh, I did actually cut the suckers on these, but let's uh, let's oh. say that, we, that let's give that priority. Um, let's check that out. So yeah, these these are dwarf avocados that aren't looking so dwarf anymore. They've shot up a bunch of suckers, especially this one. Let's um, yeah, let's definitely cut these back and not let these get tall. Let's do that in the next week. What do you think? Okay. Even today we can come over here when we're done. Well, no, no, we're working on that big pile. That's killer. Pomelos are coming in nice. So yeah, this area could definitely, this is a, this could be a killer area. We could get, lift the skirt on these avocados, lift the skirt on this pomelo. Well, this thing always fruits before we can lift the skirt on it. So mm. we'll let it go again. But yeah, this area could be good. I love the way this, uh, and then bring this avocados down. Yeah, look at that thing. It's so tall now. Oh yeah. I guess it's, these aren't dwarfs. Maybe they are. Mm. I don't know, but I, I would like to see this thing like this wide and just kind of this height would be cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's definitely do a pruning on that. But with these, um, when they're already bearing fruit, like is it still okay to? I would say just cut the suckers. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't prune the tree much. I would just cut the. I would just get an orchard ladder, try to work from the orchard ladder, not mess with the fruit. Okay. I think it'd be fine. Uh, is there anything? What's going on behind? When was the last time you looked behind uh, the art shed? Uh, yes, yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow. Oh, yeah. Is it crazy back there? Yeah. That one citrus might be uh, losing its its life over everything that's happening right there. Like just, I, know, I noticed that this one died. It's just it's too much shade. Getting, yeah. That thing was never very healthy. Uh, really yeah, not a very good place for it. I mean, this too, this this uh, low quat. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just totally overtaken by these bamboos. Yeah. Monkey the monkey pod. This is a shade area, so we're looking more kava, cacao in here. Mm. Oh, that'd be so awesome. So yeah, let's do more. Um, let's. Are you are you planting out a bunch of cacao? I would say, I would say we can't have enough cacao right now. Yeah. Um, right. Are you kind of feeling the same way? Yeah, totally. I have a bunch of seeds. Uh, I just I got a I got a. I, mean, I could kind of see cacao becoming your thing. You know. Seems like you're really into it. Yeah. There's so many products. I yeah, think that that could be a cool partnership maybe for you, Cacao. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Ariel's been teaching me like how he really likes to prune them and, and keep them going, so. Cool. Yeah. This area, well, let's not, let's not mess with this area. I mean, it's get cleaned up, but that's pretty easy. Mm -hmm. I harvested a bunch of ulu from that tree yesterday. Oh, cool. Yeah, they look really nice, actually. Uh, another area we could do, you know, use as a trellis if we needed something for the loofah or whatever. Mm -hmm. These guys here. I guess this is kind of shady though. I think this is the tetrahedrals. Nice. You know what that is? What does that look like? That is a yoni steamer. Oh no. Adam started starting one. He's been talking about it now for a while. Yeah, Iris is big on the yoni steamer. So this is what you're talking about here. This has also become a jungle. Holy yeah. crap. So this is the one you're talking about? Yeah, on the right here. Oh the right. Is that toast, do you think? I mean I can't even see it. Uh-huh. 
I just think that these might be good river projects. Okay. Like, hey, take a break today, go and dig that citrus out, see if that thing's still alive. Uh -huh. Maybe he does a one, two, three, uh, blood orange, citrus, citrus, dig him out, see if we can still, this one might still go, we might still get enough morning sun if we just clear that area out. I, I, I think he can get in here and do some damage on this. Cool. This one might be toast, but maybe not. These are, that's a Meyer lemon, so. Mm. I think this is the last Meyer lemon we have. It'd be nice to save that guy if we can. Yeah. Let's put priority on the citrus and the avocado suckers. Okay. Um, pushing into like the teak bars. Uh huh. Uh, were you still thinking about maybe doing a structure there, or was that like? Not sure. So I guess with all the shade too, if we're getting the calicaba. Yeah, cacao kava for sure. Not sure about structure there. I'm gonna say probably not, mm -hmm. just because I think that um, it's gonna be like the roof is gonna be con continually covered in leaves, yeah. and it's gonna make it really hard to harvest those uh, big teaks. Yeah, yeah. If we ever did a structure, I don't know. I think maybe that would be a better place for a structure over there, or... Oh, yeah. So, teak forest. Yeah, I mean, I kind of see the teak forest as almost like a, a wild nature zone. Mm -hmm. Like, we never go in there. It's shaded, so there's not too much cane grass. It kind of does anything. But I would say the only thing we need to do for management is get those invasive vines down. Yeah, you see that one climbing up the teak right there? Right in front of us. Right here? Yeah. Bang. Um, that, that, that one, that's like the Montserrat or something. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I'd say that one's gotta come down. Yeah. But other than that, I mean, look at these things. Awesome. So? What do you have to say? Oh, that looks good. Everything. Nice. It's good to be outside. I, I did walk there a little bit. I see one corn only. Like oh. dead. No oh, yeah. No much sun. So I think if the cassava can start to collect the last mm -hmm. bed from there. Because oh, they're really huge. Yeah. That'll be good for big family. A little bit sunny. Yeah, yeah. Um, you're saying down in that, in that area? Yeah. Where the corn was, like just below that? Right, well, it has the tank and then below. Yeah. Tank. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna go down there now. Cool. Yeah, this will a little bit like see the plants there. And then we make a trellis too. <laughs> I don't know if it's gonna put one bamboo is enough. Oh for, for the, the beans? beans? Yeah. Oh okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. There's yeah. a few over there and then pumpkin too. Yeah, I wasn't sure if the beans were um, pole beans or if they were bush beans. I think pole beans. They come, pole beans. They start climbing everything. <coughs> okay. We're going to take a look now. Do you have now. some already soaky cassava? Uh, no. Mm -hmm. No, not yet. Yeah, so if you, you can start with that, but you can have it all probably. That one. And then you probably can try for the chickens too, like cassava. And then too. How, how do you going to chop it up? I was actually thinking we might be able to get that to go through that old chipper. Because Killer. we in Brazil yeah. they do that with the, the, oh, we think you go on the chipper. The the old crappy one? We, we did try one side because it's, I told you like in Brazil they do with the, the other part, the topping part. Yeah, I tried the top mm -hmm. and that was hard. But mm -hmm. I think if the, the, if the base is like softer, it might, might it's work wet. better. Yeah, it's gonna, I think it's going to get jammed. Yeah, yeah, but they do a nice thing for the top part, right? Like the leaves and the sticks. Yeah. We need a shredder. I don't know what those are. I don't know what you have them here. Mm. Okay, we're gonna keep moving. Epic tarot patch. Beautiful. Oh, it's so nice. Everything, the turmeric is so tall. <laughs> it's <laughs> anyway. everywhere. Wow. So it's our big tarot patch. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that whole area down there is like a full sea of it. Zach, do you know turmeric flour? Yeah, you can eat it. Okay, it's the 
Cool. Yeah. Kind of like honeysuckle. Uh, this. Uh, I was like, those invasive vines, I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. Ooh, and what do you think happens if we just cover this thing? The I would tarp? I hope that they would die, but I mean, these things are pretty, pretty gnarly. And I, I don't know, do, um, you were thinking about taking the tank, the old tank house tarp up here, right? Yeah. But I remember you saying it's like that thing is like good luck moving it. Kind no, of. no, no. Two people can move it easy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. It's just big. All right. It's just big. Uh, two people can easily move it. It's right to the side on the front side, the trail up to the kitchen. Um, I think it's worth maybe trying to pick out a layer of this stuff. What do you think? Or is it yeah. just all throughout? I mean, the, what, so what Kevin was saying is that we, when we look through it, it's like, you know, if you kind of pull it up, it's like, it's kind of in here and deep. So there's like layers of it that are popping out and then there's like layer, layers of it at the base. Okay. So like, I'd say we do uh, a quick cleaning, pull those off days out of here for sure. Yeah. And then all that stuff, I don't know, almost, it's almost worth taking the dump or something. I mean, it's like this stuff. These vines? Yeah. Yeah. But notice like if, you, if we toss it in the pig area, like they're not pumped about it, but it can't survive in there. It's just like getting. Okay. Started. So yeah, that's a, That's an idea. They're not going to let that live. So let's, let's, let's dump it in there and let them trample on it. And then we'll cover the thing with a tarp and let it go until it breaks down. Cool. I was even wondering like if we if we like clean this whole area and like add it to the top. Totally. Like yeah, why don't we do that as part of this um, um, banana project? This thing totally could be cleaned out. So let's uh, let's um, let's make this thing huge and then cover it and let it go again. Okay. We have enough piles so we can let one go for a little longer. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. We have this pile up here is almost ready. I think another few weeks, another month maybe. Mm -hmm. um, I noticed. Uh, Jabodi cob was flowering again. I thought it was flowering again. Oh yeah, look, they're already fruit, they're already past flowering. They're always trying to make fruit. See them? Yeah, cool. Not a ton, but but that's three times, right? It's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so maybe maybe this corner is one project. Clearing out that stuff, cleaning up that banana patch, mm -hmm. cleaning this up, taking all the green, make that pile up again, and then we'll cover it. Yeah. Um, all that native came to like that stuff is just mean. Um, and you cut it down, it doesn't really do anything, right? it just comes right back, right? Yeah. And where are the roots like deep? No, this, how about this big uh, pile we got again? Pretty nice. Oh yeah. Okay, let's cruise through here. See what we got. This is all pretty good. I would say the only thing we need to do is um, just get in here one time and clear all these... Uh, dead ones? Yeah, all the dead leaves, pull the vines out of the bananas, mm -hmm. and just make sure that we don't put them like over there so it gets hard to weed whip. Maybe I, I usually take them and pile them inside the bananas as mulch. Yep. Or if we're making a pile, if we're making a compost pile, we'll go ahead and take it out to one of the compost piles. Okay. Maybe even today I'll come and grab some and bring it over them for that pile there. But uh, this area is, again, with all this shade, it's not really going cane grass anymore. It's so cool. I mean, how easy is this to manage, right? Oh, yeah. That abbey you got was huge. Yeah, it's pretty nice, right? Yeah, they're coming in, starting to get nice and big. Yeah, there's a bunch of uh, green on it right now. So. Uh-huh, this thing's still tall as hell, but I don't think it's gonna, we were gonna bring that thing down anymore. Yeah. Um, I was thinking coffee harvest on Sunday, maybe. That might be like okay. giving it enough time to come in a little bit more. I think we can even wait. They're not very red. Okay. Yeah, I would say let's wait. We'll see. I, I would say another week. Okay. 
Çek. I think um, I think we should take this golden and cut it up into a bunch of pieces for planting. Okay. And get them going. That'll kind of give us impetus to, because the golden's awesome. We don't have enough of it. Mm -hmm. And then uh, that area behind your house is not being. So yeah, this thing, this whole area in here is insane. So this is a project right here. Oh yeah. Uh, I can see the uh, African tulip getting tall, the sugar cane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do a let's do a project on this. Let's say this is one of our sooner projects. Cool. Yeah. We haven't given this area any love in a while. Is this purposely planted? Avocado? Nope. Okay. Oh yeah, I left it. It fell out of it. It's, it's a, it's a baby from the big tree. I just left it because I thought maybe it would go, but I don't know if that. There's there's one or two in there. We'll have to kind of pick which one, is in the right area. Okay. Uh, and then what about um, the mango farm? What have they have they harvested? Their, they they pruned their mangoes yet? Uh no. No, they did that like a while ago. So you're saying they might let this season go? Yeah. Not prune. Yeah, that was their thought. Okay. I'd say we should still thin out just the tops a little bit. Okay. Like with um, just with a pruner. And then oh, we got this. Uh, let's go and look at the. We got the nightmare, mysore raspberry. The mysore raspberry. Vine project, Noni area. So yeah, vines in the raspberry bush. You see raspberries growing up out of this tree. You see all, um, pretty much all of these. Eucalyptus that we planted came up. Oh, nice. Good. Cool. Pretty well. And it's going down and along the fence line. All right, let's check them out. I just want to see this acai palm. Ooh, that's looking good. This area is starting to get cool. Mm. So, which cassava is she talking about? I think all yes, these. All all those, and I think she was talking about in the, in the last bed, or did she mean the first bed? Eucalyptus, eucalyptus. Wow, they do pretty well in the shade, huh? Mm. Yeah, this one's doing well. So pumped to see that ginger come back, too. Spots aren't bad, but it's gonna be hard to get. Like, I don't want to mess up the, the Kruna. Like, hey, those are looking good. Yeah, I'd be really happy. Shakruna. Are oh, you talking about with the. Pulling up the cassava? Uh huh. I'm also nervous about having squash in here. Like, if it does go. Yeah, I think we gotta get these uh, cassavas out sooner than later. Okay. Because they're just gonna be, they're so massive. And do you think that if the squash, like, then if the squash gets more sun, it, that's gonna climb all over, like, the trees and... I think we're gonna have to manage it. Okay. But I would say we'll get a couple of people in here with these cassavas and kind of take them out by the branches first mm -hmm. and then cut them down piece by piece so it doesn't, like, fall and break stuff and then we'll dig them up as gently as we can, but yeah. they're gonna be a mess if we don't get them out of here soon. Yeah. I would say that's kind of top priority. Okay. You ever eat these flowers? I have not, no. Get out. Try it? Yeah. What it tastes like? I think it tastes like sweet. It's almost like honeysuckle, but with a little bit of medicinal. Mm. Wow. Not a trip. Oh, yeah. 
just start putting these in salads? What do you think? I mean, they're pretty good. Yeah. I'm sure they're really good for you, too. So, yeah, I think the cassava's got to come out, and this chaya is obnoxious, too. Is that what this is? Yeah. Okay. I thought it was a eucalyptus. No. It's a chaya. Okay. It's a chaya. It's out of control. Yeah. So maybe, I don't know, maybe we'll prune this thing back to like this, you know, and then yeah, yeah. Har maybe we'll start harvesting a bit by bit. Let's just tell Iris we'll go start harvesting chaya or Carolina. Okay. And then they can cook it and we'll start harvesting it. Cool. So yeah, I think those are the... Um, well, let me just take those eucalyptus along this wall. Did, they, did we plant a bunch along this fence line? Uh, no, they, um, they pretty much ended at like... Oh, okay. Uh, in the middle there near the coconut. So this fence line looks good. This is ready for the whip, yeah? Yeah. Wow, so uh, Samson's keeping this down right here? Mm-hmm. So he just walked, runs along the fence line, <laughs> but doesn't do a lot of damage. Well, I guess maybe in the middle he's taking it down a little bit. I can't see. Samson, are you doing your work? What's up, buddy? What do you got to say? Look at your tusks, gotten big, buddy. Yeah. Wrapped in a bun. Hey, he looks good. His his coat is coming back in. He's looking good. Yeah. You're huge. Healthy. Good man. His tusks came back too. Looked like one of them was broken, but man, those things are huge now. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Cool. Well, uh, he's not doing much for taking down his grass, just this one corner he's holding down. But I guess with enough time, it'll all be gone, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, look at you, buddy. Okay. Cool. Let's go back and jump in with those guys, maybe. I think that's a full loop, yeah? Dude, let's go, let's just yeah. look at this last little bit here. Because there's still some, uh, I want to check out the tamarind. You seen that one lately? Um, oh, right, so then we have the um, cacao mulching project. Yeah. I would say that's probably kind of important too. You mean all, all the ones that we planted in? Yeah, yeah. so let's yeah. say, the, call it the last two lanes of the contour bed project. Yeah. Basically fence line to the last two lanes. We haven't given any love lately. You can see it's, ooh, that looks killer. Look at that. Tamarind coming in nice. Um, I think there's like three of them. Probably have to pick one, maybe we'll even transplant one. This one looks super happy. That one looks super happy. Yeah. Maybe we'll move there's the other four. two. There's four. Mm -hmm. So maybe we'll spread them out. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. So let's say... Pretty good timing. What did we decide about projects? We said that the... The yeah. golden cane... Uh, citrus. Oh yeah, golden sugar cane. We have the citrus, but the citrus we said was kind of a individual project, right? Yeah. So that'll be a one day for river project. I think it'll be good to give him some, you know, some missions to get him out of the machines for a bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we'll do, uh, and then we said the, the sugar cane, sugar cane cutting keikis project, mm -hmm. right? Um, that we said that was a priority. And then cassava. Yeah. Cassava harvest, and then the last two lanes of the contour bed project. Yeah. Awesome. So those are kind of our priorities for the next chunk of time. Make sense? Yeah. Yeah, totally. Um, individual projects. Uh, Kevin could do stuff like get that top uh, compost pile ready, maybe to go. Yeah. And cover. We'll get that covered, and then we can, you know. I'm not sure, but he'd get started on that anyways. Yeah, yeah. This is pretty good. This needs, we need to hit this with a whip soon. And then just mulching all this stuff in here, yeah, with the cacaos and all that stuff that's coming in. We'll open this up a little bit. It's kind of getting really sh overgrown. Yeah. There's, um, there's this other tree in the very first spot, just right over here. That, um, I don't know what it is. It kind of looks like... It looks like the rose apple actually, it's right here. Oh, uh-huh. 
Yeah, that's something. Mm. I mean, it's super familiar. It's cacao, isn't it? No. It doesn't yeah. look like the other ones. It doesn't, but it almost looks like a variety of cacao, doesn't it? The leaves. Kind of, they seem more glossy. And than they're the thicker. The cacao's really kind of weak leaves. Wow, these cacao's are really looking good, though. Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to get these, just get everything down around them, so just a clear, get a mulch, and let them keep going. Oh my God, we got so much cassava. Holy shit. Okay. Well, that'll be something too. Uh, we'll, right, we'll have to take cuttings and then start putting more in the ground. I guess like if those are going to come out, then these will be the next ones to come out. But I was thinking getting a 55 gallon barrel, maybe and chopping a bunch of this up, putting it with water, letting it ferment uh -huh. uh, for the pigs as feed. Cool. Look that up. Okay. Awesome. Let's see how they're doing with this project here. Well, there, they didn't get that, they didn't get the position right. <laughs> but they got, a, they got a good start. Is there a base there? I wonder if that's just, they're going to get brown now and then they're going to take all the green and put it after they do the brown. You think? Maybe. I mean, we could still. Yeah, I don't think there's any. Okay. Well, it's a safe spot to work, yeah. Safe? Oh my god. As long as we don't jostle the tree. Wow. We took last two two weeks we took some racks from these guys too, so. Uh those look ready, huh? Yeah, I've been trying to wait until they get like much older so that more meat than water, you know? Uh -huh.